I, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I trust you are well and that you, you are prospering in your faith. Uh, I'm coming to you uh, pursuant or uh, consequent to the announcement that I made uh, yesterday, which was posted online. We discovered, our officials, they discovered that uh, I made a mistake when it comes to come to the dates of the revival in Nairobi, Kenya. Instead of the 3rd and the 4th of March, the revival would be on Saturday, the 2nd of March, and Sunday, the 3rd of March. Once more, the revival would be on Saturday, the 2nd of March, and Sunday, the 3rd of March. It's a two-day revival. We are inviting you from everywhere. To, to come from all over Kenya, from Tanzania, from Uganda, Kampala, Uganda, Entepe, Uganda, uh, from Kigali, Rwanda, from Puchumbura, Burundi, from Zambia, from wherever you can come. We are inviting you all and sundry to come and partake of the presence of the Almighty God. So far we have registered nearly 100 people who want to be baptized in water, who want to show a profession of their faith through water baptism. Uh, it is something which we are going to do because according to the Great Commission, we, as recorded in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and verse 20, we are commanded to baptize those who become disciples. Jesus Christ said, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we will be baptizing people according to the apostolic pattern, which is in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 2, in Acts chapter 8, in Acts chapter 9, and in Acts chapter 10. We see the apostolic pattern is that those who were convicted of the message of salvation were baptized in water. And the theme of this revival is faith foundational matters. So we are revisiting the foundation of our relationship with Christ. All of us we have to revisit the foundation of our relationship with Christ. Uh, so that uh, we are able to go forward. Many at times, many Christians have got many questions. I'm so committed to God. I'm so committed to Christ. But my life is failing to go forward. Why, Pastor Ian in love, is my life failing to go forward? As well as other servants of God. They get these questions all the time. I try by all means to be committed to the Almighty God. I'm Holy Ghost filled with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. I even see visions and dreams, but my life is stagnant. What is wrong? Many are times when you see stagnation in any area of your life, there will be something wrong with the foundation. If you see cracks in a building, it's, it's, you can go and order crack filler and you, you plaster the, you fill the crack with crack filler and you plaster where there is a crack, but after some time the crack will widen and you will see the crack again because it will be reporting that something is wrong at the foundation. So when we see cracks in our relationship with God or cracks in our work of faith, it means something is wrong with the foundation. So we'll be looking at faith foundational matters. That's the theme of the revival. So on Saturday, the 2nd of March, that's when we are going to conduct the baptism. But in the morning, we are going to have a, a time of dedicating to two puppies, uh, two or so puppies. Uh, uh, we are going to confirm the actual numbers when we arrive in, in Nairobi. But uh, so far, uh, our minister has reported that uh, we are going to be dedicating a ch a children. After the brief uh, dedication prayer service uh, of uh, dedicating the puppies, then we are going to go to the main sermon and then after the main sermon, we'll break for lunch. After lunch, we'll reconvene. I'll preach a short, a short sermon on water baptism just to anchor it in terms of the correct biblical doctrine. After uh, I've anchored the baptismal program on the, uh, on the correct doctrine of Scripture, then we'll go to the water baptism itself. So far, we have registered nearly 100 saints. We are still registering more saints. And then after we are done with the registration, which we are going to close on Thursday next week, uh, after we are done with the registration, then I will do some baptismal classes via Zoom just to teach on the basics of salvation. 
uh, and the basics of our commitment to, to Christ and also the basics of sanctification and consecration. And then once we have covered the baptismal and classes, then we will wait for the 2nd uh, of March to, to arrive so that uh, we can conduct the water baptism. Uh, at least the saints, they will be knowing the kind of commitment that they are making to Jesus Christ. Uh, come with expectation on Sunday, we will preach sermons. Uh, there, there, there would be my brother, Prophet John Akai, he would be anchoring the whole program as the director of the ceremonies, as an MC, and uh, he will also be encouraging the saints through sessions of intercession as an intercessor himself. So uh, we'll be having a lot of activity. I would preach powerful sermons and other saints, they will also minister in song and in worship. And we are believing God for words of knowledge, for words of wisdom, uh, and for prophecy, and also for deliverance. Uh, already we have been waiting in the presence of God since mid-December uh, last year. From around 15 December up to date, we have been just seeking the face of God for this revival. And we feel that we are raring to go, and that God has equipped us with the anointing of the Holy Spirit to, to be able to minister to you. So those who want to be part of this program, don't forget the dates, Dara is the correct dates. They are the Saturday the 2nd of March and Sunday the 3rd of March. It's a two-day revival. Just make sure that you make arrangements and bookings uh, for your attendance at the revival. If you need information on accommodation, there is uh, the there are we the contact details of the church officials are appearing on your screen. You 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 can contact the church officials whose details are appearing on your screen. They will assist you. Uh, in finding affordable accommodation in Nairobi. If you don't stay in Kenya or if you don't stay in Nairobi, they can always assist you on where to book in order to get accommodation closer to the venue. Uh, and as well, you can take days off in order to, to attend this powerful program which God has given us in this season. As we are starting 2024, in this year of the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit, so just invite everyone, once more, those who want to be part of the baptismal program, please note that you need to register. By Thursday, the, this, this week, which started today, you must have registered. Make sure that you have registered by Thursday. Make sure that you have registered by Thursday this week. Make sure that you have registered so that uh, we start the baptismal classes. Without You won't be able to register on the spot. You, we won't take excuses. Anyone who has not undergone our baptismal classes, we won't uh, have them participate, won't include them in the baptismal uh, program. The second thing to note about baptism is that baptism is free. No one is going to pay for baptism. And the third thing to note about baptism is that you need to sign a consent form. Uh, when you are signing that consent form, uh, you 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 will be consenting to being videographed, or uh, if you have got issues uh, with videographing or the recording of the video, it will be indicated in the consent form. So basically, the consent form will be giving us liberty to be able to baptize you, so that there are no issues because we have got saints who are coming from other churches and denominations. So we need you to sign the consent form so that you agree with the different articles that are on that consent form. So that's that on baptism. Anyone who wants to partner with us in terms of uh, being involved in the logistics of the program itself, the two-day program, as ushers, as intercessors, or even as singers, if you are able to, 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 to praise and worship God, you, you, you can conduct the ministry officials, including Prophet John Akai, who is uh, chairing or who is part of the organizing team uh, at our, our Nairobi Assembly. He's actually a man of God running his own ministry, proceeding with international ministries, but we have got a good as a brotherly relationship as ministries, and we have worked together in previous revivals. So 
just make sure that uh, you get in touch with our ministry officials. I'm aware that there might, there might be some saints who are willing to contribute uh, in order to cover expenses like, uh, you know, the PA system and sound for music, uh, as well as other expenses like the accommodation of the delegates from Zimbabwe and elsewhere who will be manning and, uh, you know, operationalizing the program. You are free to contribute. Uh, you are free to send your free will offerings uh, using the details that are appearing on your screen. Those who are in the international community within Africa, outside of Kenya and also outside Africa, you are also free to contribute via PayPal uh, using the the link which is appearing on your screen or using the information which is appearing on your screen. Uh, I believe and I'm convinced that as you contribute to this program, you will be sowing into the eternity of souls. Our passion is to see the lost saved. Uh, our passion is to see those who are backslid and revived. So as you contribute to this program, God is going to bless you and your family will bless whatever work of your hands you are doing. Invite someone, remember to take someone to on your social media platforms on Facebook and also to send this e invitation to your WhatsApp groups, to your contacts on WhatsApp, your contacts on Facebook, your contacts via email, your contacts on Twitter and Instagram. Remember to circulate this message as widely as possible. The venue where we are going to be doing the revival is the Moi Educational Center. It's the Moi Educational Center. It's a high school in Nairobi with a very big wall. It's a massive wall. Invite as many people as possible so that you, we come, you come and be part of uh, our program and we be blessed in the presence of God. God has assured me by the Holy Spirit that there will be words of knowledge, there will be deliverance, there will be prophecy, and we are going to be anointed by the Holy Spirit and will break through uh, into our areas of destiny and our areas of calling uh, and our areas of ministry uh, and our areas of occupation so that we fulfill our purpose on earth. As you can see, I'm very exuberant, I'm very excited. I believe you are also excited. Those who are intercessors, you know what to do after this announcement. Hold with us, hold forth with us, and start praying for this program to be a success story. May the Almighty God bless you. We love you. See you on the 2nd and the 3rd of March in Nairobi, 2024. May God bless you.